Hi and welcome to my maths video. This is a revision exercise of all grade 10 work which covers simplifying. When we did simplifying, the first thing we concentrated on was signs, numbers and unknowns. But signs, numbers and unknowns split two ways. It was when we did multiplication or when we did addition and subtraction. We emphasize that when we are multiplying, unknowns change. Yet when we are adding, the unknowns stays the same. The second thing we did was, we discussed the distributive law. Now we emphasized that when you have terms that are maybe 2 by 3, in other words you have x plus y into 2x plus 3y minus 4xy, then we would use the distributive law. Even if we have one term by two terms, we would use the distributive law. But a special case would be when we have 2 by 2. In this case, you would either use the kitty cat or the FOIL method. Again, we would like to emphasize that you only use the kitty cat or FOIL when we have two terms by two terms. You cannot use it when we have two by three or when we have one by two. It can only be used for two by two. Now, let us do examples of the basic work that we had used for distributive law. If I gave you a simple one where it was x into x plus y, then we would say x times x equals x squared and x times y would equal to positive xy. We must remember at all times when we are doing the distributive law, we must remember that we are first doing signs, numbers, unknowns. And the first type of signs, numbers and unknowns we are doing is multiplication. Okay, if we do the following, 3x plus y into 9x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. When we are doing the sum, because it is two terms, by three terms, we have to do the distributive law. At all times when we are doing the distributive law, we are using our signs, numbers and unknowns. But we are multiplying when we are getting rid of the brackets. So 9 times 3, 27x cubed minus 9x squared y plus 3xy squared. Then we're going to multiply the second term in the first bracket with every term in the second bracket. So we've got plus 9x squared y minus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Now remember when you are setting your terms to always set it in alphabetical order. So you have x squared y. You don't write y x squared. The reason for this is if you set it in alphabetical order you can see the ones that are the same easier. Now after you've done multiplication we then go on to addition and subtraction of unknowns. We're going to see which ones are the same. Minus 9x squared y plus 9x squared y gives us 0. Then we've got plus 3xy squared minus 3xy squared. Again, it's 0. So our final answer is 27x cubed plus y cubed.
Right. Now, when we're doing the distributive law, we use it for 2 by 3 terms or 1 by 2 terms. But in special cases, when we have 2 by 2 terms, we're going to use the kitty cat or foil. If we are doing the kitty cat, we're going to say 2x times x is equal to 2x squared. Then minus 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. Then our smiles, minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And our big smile, we got 4 times 2 is positive 8x. In the kitty cat, you will notice the last two always have the same term. So we're going to join them. So we'd have 2x squared minus 16 plus 4x. You can put it in descending orders of x. So we've got 2x squared plus 4x minus 16. Your second option is to do the FOIL method. First, which means the first two in each bracket, which gives you 2x squared outer, which means the outside 2. So we've got plus 8x. Inner means the two inside ones, which is minus 4x. And outer means the two outside ones. The two outside ones. So we've got minus 16. Again, we're going to group the like terms. Now we are adding or subtracting, so our final answer is 2x squared plus 4x minus 16. Thank you for watching this video.